Hey you guys, it's Ro, and today on No Two Dummies, we are gonna make Pokeball cookies. And I'm really excited because I got a lot of requests to do something Pokemon, and I got a lot of requests to do something from scratch. I've done it before with the banana cake for Donkey Kong, but we're gonna do it again today. What you're gonna need today is butter, and you're gonna wanna make sure it's unsalted butter, baking soda, salt, one egg, red gel food coloring, vanilla extract, powdered sugar, regular sugar, and flour. The tools that you will need today will be two bowls. I have one big mixing bowl, one smaller bowl, saran wrap for after we're done with the cookie dough, measuring cups, a butter knife, four teaspoons, tablespoons, I use two spatulas, the big boy and the little one. A whisk, or you can use a beater, but I'm using a whisk. And one big knife for cutting the cookies once they've cooled. Let's get started. I found my sugar cookie recipe in this cookbook, but you can use whatever sugar cookie recipe you like. I just happened to read through it and I was like, eh, I like that, I'm gonna try that out. You're gonna take two and a half cups of flour. What I like to do is take a big scoop, like so. And then that's when I take the butter knife and I chop it and just push off the rest. So it's nice and flat. And I'm a messy baker and it's okay. Two and a half cups. Mm, 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 mm. I'm changing the recipe just a little bit. Instead of doing half a teaspoon of baking soda, we're only gonna use a fourth. It's recommended. A fourth, one fourth teaspoon of salt. All right, and then you're gonna whisk these together. It's really good to do this so they all get mixed in before you add the sugars and the butter. And then you just set this off to the side and take your big mixing bowl, boom. And you're gonna add a cup of butter and a cup is just gonna be two, two of these sticks. So you put them in the microwave because you wanna add softened butter. So I'm gonna put these in the microwave for about 10 seconds. Oh, come on, little butter. Blop. Okay. And one more. And the reason you mix them in two different bowls is because it's science. Um, well, really, well, really, it's you mix all the light flours together. Salt, baking soda flour, all that. And then here, we're gonna mix the butter with the powdered sugar and the sugars and the egg. Kind of all the wet materials, it makes a really thick, creamy substance so that when you gradually add the flour, um, kind of gradually gets thicker and you don't have dust flying, which is really hard to avoid, especially with the powdered sugar. This gets, well, you'll see, watch, watch what happens here. This is like a fog machine. All right, so you're gonna take one and one fourth cup of powdered sugar. I'm almost out. Oh man, here's where it gets, this is just, it's, look at, look at this. This isn't even full. Gonna add, and then you're gonna pack it down just to make sure. Whew. This stuff is messy. Here is your sugar. You are going to add a fourth cup of sugar and then two tablespoons. I don't know what the math is on that. I just know that's how I measure it. It's, it's, it works. Just two of these. And then we don't add the egg yet. You're gonna mix this together and I'm actually gonna use a beater. I wasn't going to, but now I'm going to. So I'm gonna put these. Now you're gonna beat until the substance is really creamy, till it looks like butter. It shouldn't take very long, just like a minute. Then you're gonna add one egg, one large egg, three fourths teaspoon of vanilla extra extract, I can talk today. And if you overflow a little bit, that's okay. It's just a little bit more flavoring and we're not adding any other flavoring like cinnamon, so 
a little bit extra vanilla, that's okay. And I'm just gonna mix this together a little bit, not a lot, just a little. And then you're gonna gradually add the flour. Put a little flour in. <laughs> and we're gonna mix that up. That's mixed, add more flour. Oh my God, I need one of those kitchen aids. <laughs> Once your dough is ready, all mixed together, you're just gonna divide it in half, equally in half, and then we are gonna dye half of it red with the gel food coloring. You just kinda... And this is the one we will dye red. So take your red gel food coloring and we are just gonna squirt it in. You can use a lot, because if you use a little, the dough will turn pink. So use a lot of red. Just gonna mix it up. Just gonna, gonna, gonna mix it up. Okay, I'll stop. Oh! I can't joke like that when I'm baking. Now I'm going to roll this in a ball. Now you're gonna take saran wrap and we're gonna wrap up the doughs and put them in the refrigerator for about, in our refrigerator it takes about an hour. You just want the dough to be really firm because right now it's really soft and sticky. And to shape it, you're gonna need it to be pretty firm. So, you can go on the computer, play some Pokemon, you can go watch Gundam style. <laughs> you can do whatever you want. Just take up your dough, plop it down, go like that, wrap it up tight. And put these puppies in the fridge. After you've let your dough cool, what I did is I took it out of the fridge and I rolled it into logs, like so, and it was really, really easy. I just rolled them in these shapes and then I put them in the freezer for another half hour to hour, and so they're just really, really firm. Oh, but you can still cut them. So what we're gonna do is put them on a cutting board. I have these lightweight cutting boards. Take a big cutting knife and you're gonna cut them directly straight down the middle. After you cut them in half, you're gonna take egg wash, which is just one egg white and two tablespoons of water. And I found a little paintbrush, but you can just put it on with a knife, it's okay. I'm being fancy with my paintbrush. You're gonna put the egg wash and paint them on top of all four pieces of dough so that they'll stick together. Then you match them up. You're gonna take one white, one red, and match them up. They don't have to be perfect because what we're gonna do is wrap these again, put them in the freezer, let them sit together, get really nice and stuck, and then we're gonna cut slices and then use cookie cutters to make them look like pokeballs. Once your dough has cooled off, had a chance to stick together in the freezer, you're gonna again put it on the board. I'll put it like this, like so. And it should be firm, but it shouldn't be too hard where you can't cut it. What you do first is you first slice, make your slices, and then you'll take the cookie cutter and cut your circles. So it's a two-step process. Ta-da! Here they are, ready for the oven. Just remember, heat to 375 and bake for seven, seven to nine minutes. Dini! Cookies are all done, they're baked, and after they come out of the oven, give them plenty of time to cool. I put these in the refrigerator for about five minutes so they're ready to decorate. All you need to decorate is black frosting. I put it in one of these fancy bags, but if you don't have one of these, you can just use a Ziploc and cut off the tip. And Smarties, little candies. We're gonna be using the white Smarties for the center of the Pokeball. Eat, time to decorate. We have most of them done, but if you don't like Smarties, another option is little marshmallows. All you're gonna do is take a little marshmallow, cut them in half with baking scissors, and then stick them right in the middle. I just wanna give you guys options in case you don't like certain candies. If you can think of any other white little round candy, use it. Ta-da! Pokeball cookies! <laughs> oh, 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 don't fall, don't fall. They're so cute. They're really, really easy. I wanted to do a recipe like this so that it would be something simple and that everyone could do. 
I hope that you liked it. If you have any other suggestions for any other nerdy numbers, please let me know. Leave me a comment below and I will do my best to make it happen. Okay, thanks so much. Bye bye. Dude, you missed my swoop up. Wait, wait, missing the swoop up. This